up, building the world's most powerful ships. The floating power stations keeping the lights on and saving lives from Lebanon to Indonesia. Over the course of a year, this 300-metre-long bulk carrier will be reborn as an engineering marvel. There are almost 80 floating power plants around the world. And when she's complete, the Oran Ali Khan will become the biggest power ship of all. Capable of generating 470 megawatts, that's the same as a coal-fired power station 200 times her size. It takes around a year to convert a power ship, and the latest one is halfway to completion. In total, 7,700 tonnes of steel and piping will be added to the 57,000-tonne vessel. When it's complete, this ship will have two turbines and 24 engines, each driving their own generator. And today, they're installing the very first one. The surveyors have to ensure it matches the computer model to within hundredths of a millimeter. But these aren't your standard petrol power generators. Weighing 70 tons, they will have to be winched into place. Each of these generators weighs more than a tank and generates enough power for 18,000 homes. To lift this enormous weight, you need a crane with muscle power. And this one is a giant, capable of lifting 500 tonnes. The operator hoists the generator across the shipyard and it's guided into the cargo hold. Placement is pivotal. If the generator is just two hundredths of a millimetre out of line, the coupling between it and the engine could wear down, causing a catastrophic failure. Even minute specks of grit could throw off its alignment. So before it's installed, it's given a good clean. When they're all running, the 24 engines and generators will produce considerable vibrations, which could damage the structure of the ship. To absorb them, each generator and engine pair is mounted on 20 giant spring shock absorbers. This generator can't produce electricity without an even bigger engine to drive it. Built by Wärtsilä in Finland, it has 18 cylinders, operates at 500 RPM and can run on either gas or oil, so it can use whatever fuel is most readily available. Very useful when you're generating power in remote parts of the Earth. The engine is skillfully negotiated around the ship's steel frame, but getting it into the cargo hold is a much trickier challenge. This part is critical, so we will slow down the operation there and carefully we will adjust and then we will lower. This six meter engine is bigger than a London bus. And with only 50 centimeters to spare on either side, lowering it into the hold is a nail biting operation. A sudden gust of wind could spell disaster. Once through the hatch, the workers align the engine precisely, so it can be connected to the pipework and coupled with the generator. Each engine has a boiler above it, which stores the steam. Each boiler weighs 100 tonnes. But this one's not slotting into place. It's two centimetres too big for the space. They need a blowtorch to trim it down to size. One down, 23 to go. When complete, this gigantic mobile power station will set sail. 
providing electricity to some of the remotest places on Earth. Power is really important for the human being because this power ship can light up one million people's life. It's not only business for us, it is also doing something for the people. Car power ships fleet are already illuminating millions of lives across the globe. From Ghana to Lebanon, Mozambique to Iraq, and in places like Indonesia in Southeast Asia.